for certainty an incredibly wide variety of ways to play Astroneer. However, in the early game, that's not so much the case, and as such, deviating from a more efficient playstyle can be detrimental to the overall pacing of your progression in the long run. Therefore, you should seek out wisdom from those among us who specialize in being epic. Therefore, as such, I hereby present to you 10 massive early game mistakes in Astroneer. Our first early game mistake in Astroneer is going to be using research items to get bytes instead of research samples. Now, what is a research item versus a research sample? Well, here on the left, these things are research items, and here on the right, these are research samples. You probably know both of these, but you probably did not know that they were called different things, so now you do. Now, the obvious difference between these is that with the research samples, we hold F and we get a few bytes, and with the research items, we have to research them in the research chamber, but we end up getting more bytes. Uh, however, you should not be using the research items even though they give you more bytes. You should instead be using the research sample. But why is that? What makes the research item worse than the research sample? Well, as previously mentioned, we need a research chamber. Now, that might not sound like a big deal, but the thing about research chambers is that you need to constantly give them power the entire time they're on, and that will be five minutes for this if you have it at full power, which maybe you won't in the early game. It is really annoying to generate power for five minutes straight in the early game, as opposed to using the research samples, because you only need 10 research samples in order to get the same amount of bytes that you would get from a single research item. Now, 10 research samples, that might sound like a lot until you realize that these things are literally all over the caves, and what's more important about these things is that they actually regenerate over time, and it only takes like 30 minutes or something like that. So they regenerate pretty quickly, they just respawn right back at the exact same location. Which brings me to my next point regarding research samples, which is that they can be fully automatically gathered when they respawn, because they respawn in the same position every single time. Our second early game mistake in Astroneer is not blasting off soon enough, because yes, leaving the planet as soon as you can is actually a really good idea for two reasons. The first reason being resources. As you can see, we are here on Glacio, and Glacio gives us access to iron and titanium, and as you can see with iron, this place is absolutely incredible. There's iron everywhere on the surface of Glacio, so if you want iron, this is easily the place to go. And titanium, which is not on the surface, it's in caves, is really good on Glacio too. So Glacio, not just for resources, but for bikes, is actually the first place I recommend you go. But yes, that is the second reason, is research. That is the other reason you want to go to Glacio. And actually, it's for the same reasons. It actually loops back to the first mistake we had because good old-fashioned research samples instead of research items are actually what you want to get on Glacio in the early game as well, because these things are actually six times better than on the home planet. So as you can see here, uh, if I research this, it'll give me 333 bytes. Now, it ranges like around 350 bytes for each of these, so they're like six or seven times better than the ones you find on the home planet, even though they're the same thing. All you gotta do is hold F, and they will regenerate, and they will respawn. Our third early game mistake in Astroneer is going to be not using the medium generator. Now I know what you're thinking. World class jerk, you fool! The medium generator is not an early game item. It takes 2,000 bytes to unlock and a tungsten to craft, meaning I have to leave the planet to get what I need in order to craft it. That's not early game at all, except it is, because you can get a medium generator in the first layer of caves. You can just find one already together and working, so you don't have to craft it or unlock it. You can just find it in the caves, and then you bring it up here, and you have 9 units to power a second for nothing but a carbon as fuel. Which brings me to my next point, because you're obviously now probably thinking, why don't I just use solar or wind? Well, you can use solar and wind, but you could also use this with those because there are times when the wind isn't blowing and it's nighttime, which means you don't have power and you just gotta sit there and wait. We've all been there and we've all hated it and we've all been really sad because of it. Our fourth early game mistake in Astroneer is going to be not gathering items in bulk. Now, that may seem pretty self-explanatory and simple, and that's because it is, but it's still more useful than you may think because let's say, for example, I need three compound in order to craft something. If I go to a compound vein and I only gather three and go back to base, I'm going to need more compound soon because you always need compound. It's a very common crafting recipe. So if you only gather what you need, you're going to be going back and forth between veins a ton and walking a lot, which is something you could avoid by simply gathering more while you're standing over the top of it and getting a stockpile. As you can see here, I'm on a new save and I have a ton of compound and a ton of resin. And I got all of this in about like five minutes, which really isn't that long, obviously, to get this much. So if I was actually going to progress with this save, I wouldn't need any more of this at all ever until I got a soil centrifuge. So if you don't gather items in bulk, you're going to be wasting a lot of time. So don't do that. Don't waste a lot of time. Wasting a lot of time is stupid. And you're not stupid because, well, I mean, maybe you are, but I would hope not. So just don't gather items in small amounts because it's a waste of your time. 
and that's what it is. Our fifth early game is today, Canastra Near is, uh, and as you can see, I'm on a new save here. Uh, I don't know why I interrupted myself. Anyways, is neglecting the starter missions. And as you can see here, I am on a new save again. And so I wanted to show you that there are starter missions here. We all probably know that, but some of you may think, oh, well, why would I waste my time with this when I could just not do that? And that's because it gives you bites. And as I've said before, bites are the main idea of the early game. The most important thing at first is getting bites because you want to be able to unlock stuff that allows you to get more bites, basically. So you want bites very importantly in the early game and this gives you a lot of bites for the amount of time it takes in the early game it's a very worthwhile investment to do these missions and even in the late game missions are kind of important but specifically in the early game for the reason of bites you should do these first couple of ones because they are indeed good and so that's what you should do i have nothing left to say i kind of ramble sometimes i apologize our sixth early game mistake in astroneer is going to be not using the wide and boost mods now if you're the type of person who doesn't use these just quit being like that okay because not using these things should be punishable by death because of how good they are we all know what they do they increase the speed at which we mine stuff basically by making the area we mine bigger and by increasing the speed at which we mine it that's pretty self-explanatory makes us gather ore veins quicker and everything we do with the drill is just quicker however the most important thing that it speeds up is our soil gathering speed which basically makes the already overpowered soil centrifuge even more overpowered er it's an incredible device these things but one thing i will mention about these is that their bite cost as far as the early game is concerned is arguably kind of expensive so you may want to refrain from unlocking them until after you blast off and go to Glacio where getting bites is easy because at first you want to save all your bites for a shuttle IMO which means in my opinion you already knew that I need to shut up sometimes our seventh early game mistake in Astroneer is going to be neglecting the overpowered nature of the soil centrifuge now I will say most of you probably do use the soil centrifuge and recognize that it is a pretty powerful device however if you do not you really do need to know that it is incredible for things like organic that you cannot really get a whole lot of without it being further and further out actually everything gets further and further out the more of it you gather there are things in here like graphite that you just don't find out in the wild very much that it's not hard to get if you just gather soil canisters so it is definitely good to gather this because it gives you every single early game item you would need except for aluminum unless you count copper as an early game item if that's something you gather a lot of in the early game then that's another thing it doesn't get but i only need aluminum other than the items in here so the soil centrifuge is particularly swell to possess in the early game and that's why you should never neglect it because it is very overpowered on its own and once you get the wide and boost mods it's even more overpowered once you get the truck and drill it is so overpowered that it's unrighteous and once you automatically turn your soil into scrap through a system so that you can use the trading platform it's so overpowered that i peed my pants which doesn't make sense, but that's what I put on my notes. Our eighth early game mistake in Astroneer is going to be not bringing aluminum so that you can make a soil centrifuge whenever you go to another planet. Every time you set up a new starter base on another planet, you should bring everything you need in order to craft a platform and put a soil centrifuge on it. And the reason you need to do that is because even though resin is common on the home planet, it's not necessarily common on the planets you'll be going to. They have to make resin and compound common on the home planet because that is what you need in order to make base stuff and they can't just start you out where you can't progress the game however when you go to another planet sometimes resin and compound just isn't anywhere to be seen as you can see here i'm on glacio and i did not select the spot because i can't see resin and compound that's just how it works you can't see those as much on other planets sometimes so you'll just kind of be stuck if you don't have a soil centrifuge but as long as you do have a soil centrifuge you can make resin and compound and the reason resin and compound are specifically special is because those are all you need to expand a base and expand your reach by tethers so if you can make compound in a soil centrifuge you can go further out to get other stuff you need and if you can make resin you can make platforms so the soil centrifuge will provide both of those for you because the soil around you will be the resources that may not otherwise exist for you and those are necessary resources you are welcome. Our ninth early game mistake in Astroneer is going to be using the medium, wind, and solars in the early game instead of the smalls. Now, I know what you're thinking. World-class jerk. In your last video, you already complained about people not using the smalls because they are the best. Well, actually, that's not what this is about at all because the small solar is actually worse than the medium solar for the amount of power it puts out given what it costs. So this is actually a completely different conversation entirely because the medium solar is better than the small for what it costs, but I still recommend that you use the small because as i've said before bites are really important and it's not worth the little extra amount of solar you're going to be getting for the cost of bites it takes to unlock this thing in the early game so i recommend that you wait until like the mid game to unlock the medium solar if you want a better solar 
As for the wind, yes, the small is literally just better for how much it costs and how much it puts out. So never use the medium wind turbine at all. This thing is not worth your time. Always use the small wind. But with the solar, yes, the medium is better. But do not unlock it at the very start because it's just not worth the cost right off the bat. Our 10th early game mistake in Astroneer is one that you're probably going to be pretty disappointed in because it's as simple as me saying you should bring a beacon to other planets when you go to them. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous. Like, really, world class jerk? You're going to take up a whole entire spot on this list just to tell me to bring a beacon to another planet? Well, yes, because I do consider this to be specifically an early game mistake for one simple fact. You are using a solid fuel thruster in the early game. You cannot afford to land in the wrong spot, okay? Every single one of us has said, I don't want to make a beacon. It's not worth my time. I'll just remember where I landed. But you're wrong. You won't remember sometimes because we all forget sometimes, no matter how confident we are in our memory, we land in the wrong spots. And then we wasted a solid fuel thruster, which is aggravating in the early game. So literally just bring a beacon. It's a single quartz and it's not hard to do and that's this one but wait guys i'm pretty sure there's actually an extra t uh, early game mistake in astroneer even though i said there was only 10 and that mistake would be not subscribing to this channel so you can get more videos like this in order to learn how to play astroneer yes if you come back to this channel you will learn so much that you will be i don't know like this i didn't actually plan this out this just uh if you think this video was nice, just hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Join my Discord. All that good stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't plan this out, so I guess this is my outro, technically. I just, like, sort of framed it as another, like, tip for the video. I don't know. Just, I'm gonna end the video now.